The notorious Black Mafia family was founded in Detroit by brothers Demetrius Big Meech Flannery and Terry Southwest T. Flannery. I'm Tonisa. I was strong and now I'm stronger. A drug trafficking and money laundering empire that was ultimately dismantled in 2005 when the feds finally cracked the whip. Tanisa Welch is a name that has been circulating in the media for a while now. The notorious criminal has been associated with the Black Mafia family, BMF, a drug trafficking organization for years. Welch is known for her involvement in criminal activities, and her name has become synonymous with the gang's notoriety. In this video, we will delve deep into Tanisa Welch's life, her criminal history, allegations, relationship status, number of children, net worth, and plans for the future. Welcome back to Terry Swoop Videos. Tanisa Welch was born in 1971 in Detroit, Michigan to a family that struggled financially. Growing up, she faced numerous challenges that shaped her into the person she is today. Welch was exposed to the harsh realities of life at an early age and turned to the streets to make ends meet. It was during this period that she got involved with BMF. Welch was a close associate of the BMF's founders, Demetrius Big Meech Flannery and Terry Southwest T. Flannery. She was part of the gang's inner circle and was heavily involved in the organization's drug trafficking activities. Welch was known for her involvement in the distribution of cocaine and other illegal substances. Her criminal activities led to numerous run-ins with the law. Tanisa Welch's criminal history is lengthy, and she has been in and out of jail several times. She has been charged with various offenses, ranging from drug trafficking to money laundering. Welch's first encounter with the law was in 2005, when she was arrested on drug trafficking charges. She was subsequently sentenced to 10 years in prison, but her sentence was reduced to six years following a plea bargain. In 2012, Welch was arrested again on drug trafficking charges. She was accused of distributing cocaine and other illegal substances on behalf of BMF. The charges against her were later dropped and she was released from prison. In 2018, Welch was arrested for violating her probation. She was sentenced to two years in prison and was released in 2020. However, her release was short-lived as she was arrested again in 2021 on drug trafficking charges. She is currently awaiting trial. Tanisa Welch has been accused of numerous crimes, but she has also faced allegations of being involved in the murder of a BMF member. According to reports, Welch was involved in the murder of BMF member Terry Big D. Brown in 2004. Brown was shot and killed in his home, and Welch was one of the people accused of being involved in the murder. However, the charges against her were dropped due to lack of evidence. At the time of this video recording, a lot of facts about Tanisa's personal life are still in question. She is suggested to be 52 years of age with three children. Also, it's suggested that she has a net worth of around a million dollars. Being the first lady of the Black Mafia family and longtime girlfriend to Southwest T was what ultimately put Tanisa behind bars. In a recent interview, she said, I don't blame Terry for me being incarcerated. I started on my path of destruction long before him. A lot of us women have misguided loyalty, where we think we have to be incredibly loyal to a man and that's not true. I had misguided loyalty due to low self-esteem and it wasn't reciprocated to me. I was on my own. We don't have to be led by a man. We're strong and we're smart all by ourselves. How does she feel about the hit star show BMF where Lala Anthony plays Markeisha, who is known to be a portrayal of Ms. Welch? Ms. took to Instagram with her thoughts. She said, WTF who wrote this part of the story, said Welch. Terry is 17, I'm 26 years old, and my husband a kingpin, but I'm having sex with a 17-year-old who's supposedly still in high school. So before Terry goes on the run, he comes to my job, and it's close for the day, and we sneak in the janitor's room and have sex. I guess he's too young to have an apartment, and he's still in high school, or lives with his parents. I guess they have Markeisha looking like a pedophile. If this was reverse and Markeisha was 17 years old, y'all be trying to put him in jail, Welch added. I never kissed this man until he was like 25 years old. This is crazy. 
This is what happens when you hire the wrong representative. Welch was featured on BET's American Gangster Trap Queens to detail her story. She has advocated for prison reform and has used her experiences on the wrong side of the law to help others in her activism. Thanks for tuning in. Smash the like button to let us know you love us. If you're not subscribed, please do, as we continue to grow the channel to 1 million subscribers by next year.